It has long been a playground for the wealthy outsider. Here in Abasok, more than 54% of properties are holiday lets or second homes. It's why, since 2017, the Welsh Government has been the only UK nation to charge a council tax premium in a bid to ease the housing crisis. In April this year, the second home council tax premium in Wales rose to up to 300%. The county of Gwynedd currently charges the highest levy of 150%. Wales is leading the way. Scotland is consulting on charging double council tax, with some areas in England also looking to introduce the premium. The question is, will charging a few extra grand in tax have any impact in a place where a small boat shed on the beach is currently on the market for a quarter of a million pounds? This is the most expensive street in Wales, where properties average more than £1.7 million. The Welsh Government's second home council tax premium isn't going to make a jot of difference to the likes of these property owners. But the lack of affordable housing isn't just an issue in luxury seaside resorts like this. It's also a major problem in more rural parts of the country. On the other side of Snowdon is the tiny village of Brynrevile. Ang Harrod has just managed to rent here, but says that since COVID, Airbnbs and second homes are taking over. There were a lot of people coming here wanting to buy a piece of paradise. And that changes the, the heart of the community? Absolutely, it changes the whole dynamic. The Welsh Government has also increased the number of nights holiday lets must be filled to avoid paying the second home council tax. It used to be 70 nights, now it's 182. Guion represents hundreds of holiday home owners, mainly Welsh, and says it's forcing many to sell up. We've got examples of people who are on the Diony website who are, who are already realising that this is going to be a really hard target for them to achieve, and they're just going to give up. They're going to come out of the market, unfortunately. The government admits charging second home owners a premium won't solve the housing crisis alone. It's definitely the case that some of these properties are not going to be affordable for uh, first-time buyers or for local families necessarily. I mean, that's why it's really important that we have a much wider approach. That approach includes more social housing, but that will take years. The housing shortage is a nationwide issue. The solutions being tested in Wales are being closely watched by the rest of the UK. Dan Whited, Sky News. In Join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.